Hello the folks, it is TIJ Gaming and welcome to part 2 of our pro career on Snooker 19 with the Xbox One with Neil Robertson. Today we're playing the second part of the Yushan World Open Qualifier against Jamie Clark. Now it seems a bit of a mismatch this does, but two frames in, it is one frame to each play. And we haven't played our best, if you haven't watched any of my videos so far, you'll probably not know that I'm not too good at this so far. My highest break's about 35, uh, I haven't improved that since the last episode. So there's definitely room for improvement, but I'm going to play a few interesting shots today, try and do things that are a little bit unique, just to try and maybe fluke a little bit position. But we need to win two out of these three frames, which will be shown today. I will show all of the frames today. No point uh, making these three parts, but it's us to break. Again, you will notice that this game does feature uh, a mid-session save, which is absolutely fantastic. If you want to go away and just practice some shots, might be a bit unrealistic, but nonetheless, it's, it's fine for me. So we're going to break off in this third frame. A little bit harder than we wanted to, but the break is pretty much um, the best it could be, to be quite honest. Again, all reds very tightly packed. That one red is standing out that's a little bit out of the cluster, but we should be okay. Here comes Jamie Clark. He's going to play a safety here, not bothering to take on that long red, which I don't think goes anyway, but he's tried um, to get us up behind the black, but interesting... Lee, um, Neil Robertson, four, three, mm, foul and a miss and snookered, so um, we might as well just get him to continue because he's snookered here and there's a chance he might just belt the balls. Ooh, has he hit anything? He has, he's got out of that one. I didn't see the point of uh, trying to do it ourselves because I'd only muck it up. So a nice soft shot, probably a little bit harder than that. Uh, do we maybe want to hit it to the left hand side? Bet mid-ball, probably for both of them. See how this goes. Again, I don't think there's any worry of that ball to the left going anywhere. So it's a good start to the frame, those four points. And he's just tried to get that red further away from everything else. Now, we could go for the long pot on this thread, couldn't we? No. We could go for the pot on this thread, couldn't we, actually? Should we go for the long pot? Let's go mad. Not hit it too hard, so it's a... Kind of safety and a um, shot to nothing. But let's see how this goes, eh? Nice and soft. He'll be playing safe from here. Yeah, that should be fine. Again, it's not the best shot in the world. But it covers off all these reds, I think, at least. Uh, and that red up the top of the table is pretty much unpottable from this angle. Well played. Good safety there. Yeah, we just tried to tap that again. Now, do we go for this pot again? Can we get to it? We can't get to it this time. Um, so it is going to require a bit of a awkward safety because if we hit uh, this ball, there is a chance it could go in with Jamie Clark. So we're going to have to hit it up to about the middle of the uh, cluster. Just get a nice tap. Make sure it's not too soft. That's pretty much perfect at 7%. We tap that ball, and that couldn't have gone much better. Nice to see some good safety battles on this game. You know, on previous games, one player would just get fed up and whack it. Um, so it's good that we have got a bit more safety play. Probably a little bit too hard there, actually. There is a way in for him now, which is a little bit disappointing. We misjudged that, and I think that is going to go. So one player blinked, one player made a mistake. That was us, and now it's Jamie's, uh, Jamie's chance to have a little bit of a break here. Alrighty, though, even though he's not in on a 10 break, he's run out of position. He's just played the safety there. Good shot. Hmm. Now. Nope. Not the result he was after. Some of these could go into the top pocket, couldn't they? So let's have a look what position we've got on all of these. This might not be a bad shot, actually, into the top pocket. It's pretty straight, isn't it? So we're gonna try this. Might be a risk. Does it go? Oh no! Just bounces off the pocket there. And we've let Jamie Clark in again. So narrow these margins on these pockets. Uh, it is very frustrating that the pockets are so unforgiving, but it'll be definitely a learning curve, and he's missed that as well. So, not the best potting game from either player, and I think this black is going to block. Uh, no, it's not actually, luckily. We can get in for this red. I'm going to try and get a bit of screw back on this. Uh, do we want to hit it too hard, though? This looks relatively easy. There we go. It's dropped. Not the best position on the black, but potentially something could go into the top, maybe. Let's have a look what we got. So what did we... We played a similar shot to this last time, didn't we? 
Just want to bear in mind that we don't particularly want uh, him to get any position on these reds if this goes wrong. Just give this a... About here. Probably hear the gate ringing in the background. Apologies about that. The gate bell, not the gate itself. Come on, come on, come on. No, that's far off. Uh, it's always worth trying those longer pots just to get a bit of experience, but will Jamie Clark do something about this now? Is he going to try and pot it? He does. He pots it into the middle. Uh, into the top, sorry, not the middle. Good shot. Good old dog barking upstairs. Uh, downstairs. And that's a brilliant red. He's really getting into his mojo now. And good position on the pink. And if he wins this frame, well, it puts all the pressure on us. But luckily, I think he's run out of obvious position already. But he's potted that red. And he's certainly on a, he's on a roll. Black's dropped as well. Well, we've made plenty of mistakes so far. No doubt about it. We've potted one red and that's it. So at the moment, he deserves it. But what a catastrophic ever that was. I think he went for the red and obviously just, well, missed it. Uh, now, do we hit it here and go for the red at the top of the table? Or do we get a little bit more angle on these? I think we'll hit it about the middle of these. Let's see what we've got. So we can either play that red at the top of the table. Will one of these reds go down here? I don't think they will, actually. No. We can either go for that red, which is going to be a bit of a risk with that blue just there. Can we try this pot? Let's have a look how we look on it. Hmm. Let's have a look at this one. Again, these aren't the easiest shots to play. It might be best. I think we've got a better chance of getting this long pot, to be honest. It is so tricky to judge, though, where the ball's going to go. This should be okay. Nice and soft. This really is tricky. Good pot. Beautiful. I think softness is the key. That means you do compromise position a little bit, unfortunately, but... Not much can be done, so we can either go for the pink or the blue. Let's have, let's have a look how the pink looks. It's a tight one, but I fancy it. Too soft, but it might go here. Go on. Oh, what a pot. Oh, a little bit far to get any disposition on this red into the middle, but uh, this red should go just fine. Actually, we can get good position on the pink. Play with a little bit of screw. And try and get nice on the pink. Good pot. Not the best on the pink, but it should be okay. In fact, the black's perfect. Eight. Hits a bit harder with some top and try and get up and down the table. Good pot. Have we got any position? Stop, stop, stop. I know I can get good position on this red now. This looks good. Yeah, this red, that's the one we're looking for. Get some screw, get onto the pink. But of course we can't, can we? Because we're queuing off the cushion. So how are we going to play this? Uh, yeah, that looks about right. Hopefully it taps off the cushion. We're hitting it a little bit harder just so it taps off the cushion. We get D's position on the pink. Good pot. Oh no, not really gone how I wanted it to there. Expected the cue ball to travel a lot longer. Now we've got a little bit of a problem. I mean, it's been a decent break so far for our standards. We're going to have to go, if go for the blue. This very tricky pink. Let's have a look at... I, I, have, I tend to find with this aiming aid. That's what it's like when it's like that. So just keep following it round, following it round, following it round. And that's about right. We can give it a go. Oh, just taps off the pocket. But I'm not miles out, which is really encouraging. You know, we're not miles off hit and missing pots. Just refining our aim slightly to make sure they go in. Good pot from Jamie there. Competitive frame, though, here. Oh, good pot on the pink. Where's the cue ball? Oh, he's got away with that. Has he got any position, though? Might be a safety he plays here. We're still in this frame. It'd be very uncomfortable if we lost this. No, he's missed that. I don't know whether he's gone for the safety or what, but very peculiar shot there. Now, does this get past the pink? I don't think it does. That's unfortunate. This into the middle is probably the best shot, and that's a hard one. Uh, 
potentially a soft shot into this one, into the into the uh, pocket up there. Not really sure. Let's try our luck. Oh, come on, drop! Ah, so unfortunate there. Gravity took over. Didn't want it. Doesn't. Well, wasn't interested. And he's got that. Hopefully, he goes for the yellow though to limit the damage. He's gone for the black, and he's missed it. Well, he's made a mistake there, but has he got away with it? Can we get to this red? We certainly can. He hasn't got away with it. He gives a good belt. He's playing for the right corner here. Good pot. And he hasn't got away with it. He should have gone for the yellow. He really should have done. And he might reap that. One. Reap it? What am I on about? He might uh, feel a little bit of guilt towards that even. Uh, green probably looks like the best shot here, unless there's anything better. Uh, actually, the pink might go here, so... It's a better positional shot as well. Nice and soft. This is tough. It is tough. Go on, go on. Yes, good pot. Now, are we on any of these reds? Hmm. Right, so that's, let's do the manoeuvre we did before. So that's where it's going now. want to watch the cue ball as well. Oh, we're going down with it as well. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. A little bit further back, probably. Nice and soft. Get a bit of screw back on it. Looking to play safe here. Looking to play safe. Come on, come on. No, just not quite got the angle. Oh, disappointing. Neil Robertson. Just narrowly off, and this could be Jamie's chance now. Although he's playing safe for some odd reason. That cue ball was very close there. Sorry about me sipping. I've got a cup of tea. Here as well. Has he really got to go away with this? I think he has. Unless we uh, apply the plant. Might be better with this ball. Get some screw on this. Hit it nice and hard. See what we can do. Hit it just on the outer ball. This might go disastrously wrong, but it might go well. Get in there. Cracker. And that might be, not 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 numerically, but that might be the frame clincher. Now, can we get to the pink? We can. Pot this pink and we look good. On level terms again. Come on. Yes, good pot. It's all coming together a little bit now. This red's going to be quite tricky. Seven. Into the top. Or we can play it into the middle, I suppose. So that's, so that's completely... So that's the finished shot we can play. So probably a little bit like that, potentially. This red. Tricky shot, this is. Oh, no. Too much. Disappointing. But I think we're safe. Unless he plays an impressive pot on this red that's pretty much parallel. With the cue ball. He's, taking this He's trying it. He's missed it. Well, well. I think we need a very thin shot on this. To go into the middle. Well, he's taking it Even thinner than that. Come on. Come on. Yes, what a pot. Well, a what a pro. <laughs> Oh, sorry, Dennis Taylor. Very pleased with that shot. That's a usual quote there. And how well positioned can you be on a black? Blimey. It was, this would put us uh, eight points ahead with 20, uh, sorry, 35 to play for. Lining the black up. Don't want to hit this too hard, but want to get a good position on the pink. Uh, the pink? The red? Good pot. Well, not the shot he was aiming I'll for be there. quiet. Eight. Not the shot he was aiming for there. I mean, we have snookered ourselves, so he's about right. Uh, but, uh, blimey. Now, can we get it off this cushion and hit the red? Hmm. Not quite sure. I don't want to risk it. So let's... If, in theory, if it's in line with the black there, it should hit the red. I'm not the best at getting out of these. Probably give it a little bit more leeway. Not the best at getting out of these, but we might be alright. Oh, no. Too conservative. Ah, well. We try... Oh, yeah, of course. Foul. Duh. Yeah. Unfortunate there. I think we're starting to get the potting angles right, but we can't really get the position too good. 
So we've got one out of two. And he's potted the black. This could be his chance now because all these balls are fairly well poised. He's got the yellow. The green's going to be a challenge. He might play a safety on this. Yeah. Has he got the snoop cap? He might well have. Let's have a look. Oh, thank God he just about hasn't. He's playing the safety and aiming to get the cue ball tight against the cushion. That was very, very unlucky, to be honest. A little bit more angle, it would have gone in the pocket. But now he's got a very easy pot on this screen. And Jamie Clark could take the lead. Good pot. Three. Just needs the brown and the blue. And it's frame to Jamie. I am starting to play a little bit better, though, I think, by frame. Frame by frame. Which is encouraging. But it requires a big miss now from Jamie Clark. If he gets the blue, he wins the frame. No, he's missed the blue. But he's not exactly left it in the best position. So, in light of that, it's going to be a simple safety. Just play up to the red. They seem to have took my tactic from uh, the older games and embedded it into the code for all the AI. But that's not a bad safety at all. Safe here. At the end of the day, we've uh, got a chance here, so we might as well try and take it. He's tried to snoo cross, but to no avail. Hits this, it could end badly. I'll be quiet. This should be okay. Yeah, bang on. Excellent safety shot. Thank you very much. This is developing into a fascinating well, I don't know why he's played that for. <sighs> do we try the risky pot? I think we do. So that's where the cue ball's going. Keep watching, keep watching, keep watching. Okay. I think that's about right. It's horrible, just a bit of uncertainty here, but we're going to try and refine the angle. Well, we get the pot a little bit harder than I wanted to, but come on. No, just missed it, and this is going to be the frame. Ah, to Jamie. So narrow, these margins, but unless Jamie Clark has a meltdown now, he's going to win the frame. And we will require another two to beat him. He just needs this blue. Good pot. Oh, blimey, he's missed the pink, but we will Jamie concede. Clark. We're not going to get a snooker. Frame, Jamie Clark. So That's we need the next two frames to qualify for the Yushan World Open. Going to need a little bit of luck here to do something, but hopefully we'll get some of that. A lot of the frames spent with safety battles, to be quite honest, it seems. And our safety play is pretty good cop. But it's alright being able to play safe. You've got to play aggressive as well. And get it right. That, you know, you can play aggressive. You can bash shots about. Well, that was fantastic. But he's missed the yellow. He got off decent position as well. So he's going to be a little bit upset with that. Might as well take this red on. Oh, does this hit the other red on the way through? Ooh. I think we'll go for the far red. It's a trickier pot, but just to cover our own back. So this pot into the right. But we might have missed this. No, we're okay. Where's the cue ball? We're fine. One. Yellow can be a good cop out here. So that's if we hit it very thin. We want to get. An angle on it and effect into that pocket. Don't know why we've got for some reason the camera's going there. Oh, I knew that would happen. Those narrow shots are so much harder than they were back in the day. Neil Robertson won. <laughs> Neil Robertson won. Another safety required here. Could play a bit of a shot to nothing, though, I suppose. No, that's just off, and it might give him a chance. Depending on where the cue ball lands. Now he's got a chance now. Not what he intended at all. He'll be annoyed with that. That's what I was saying about the aggressive play. If you break that, like, you've got to get it right. Oh, well. Middle for this one? It's a tricky one, but... It could go. Might end badly, but you never know. 
not actually get any just play no spin at all we should be all right in fact we need a little bit of back spin to be fair this won't be easy it's a tricky one good pot that's a tremendous pot thank you gents have played that any better one now it's trying for the tight one on the black And that's in. Get good connection with the red. No, it couldn't have gone worse. Ah, oh, well. But that wasn't a bad black. Certainly not a bad red either. Try and play this fin, get it up the table. Tricky safety coming up. Hopefully get it in the bulk. Stay, stay. Looks good. We're gonna have to win this frame, of course. Neil Robertson, eight. He'll be trying to get the cue ball safe here. Is that safe or not? If it will play this one across the bottom cushion, it's a risk, but it's one worth taking, I'd say, in this occasion. You won't want to overhit this. Yeah, it's a good point. A bit softer. No, it's not dropped. So we will get this pot, just depends on what positional play you can play. And that's not bad. One. The pink will go here. Good pop. Nothing on a red though. That I can see. Bit of a bizarre shot, but oh uh, well. Seven. Nothing will go here, which is really unfortunate. And it's gonna be a tricky safety. Try and get it quite thin. Safety here, I think. And that's not bad at all. The ball's in a very weird formation now. How many's left? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Well, he's left half a chance. He's left half a chance. I mean, I'd have never spotted that in my entire life. So fair play to him for getting that. But he's missed the yellow. Jamie Clark, one. So let's see if we can take an opportunity like him. Unfortunately, there's not one there. Probably a little bit softer, actually. Very important with this shot. Up the table, keep it coming, keep it coming. I mean, if we'd have got the pot, that would have been perfect position on the yellow, but of course we weren't aiming for that. If we've left something on else on now, I'd be blooming annoyed. Well, he's tried a bit aggressive there, but it doesn't really matter. And we've got to play something that's, well, I don't know what we can play here. I suppose we can play this very soft, because that doesn't leave that ball that's um, the worry. Um, under any danger. I, I think that's fine. He's playing the safety shot here. Yeah, safe. Can we just get onto that red? I don't think we can. No, we can't. That's unfortunate. Can only really find safety at the top of the table. It's going to be a very good shot to get this right. This is an intriguing safety battle. Stay, stay, stay. And that makes it about as hard as possible for Jamie Clark. But I think he can still get one of these reds. No, not the result he was looking for. No, he's missed it. Unless he flukes this one. No. Phew. A few airs of mine fell out there. But he's not left us in the best position. This red is probably our best bet. Unless there's something that's highlighted that's much easier. No. So that's it going straight. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Yep, yeah, that's your bait rise. Nice and soft. Good pop. Sacrifice position a little there, but the yellow is still on. One. It's not the most glamorous of shots, but we'll take it. As I say, we need to win this frame. Good pop. And I think we are on a red. Not this one. I'm not too fussed about that one. Yep, that's on. He's taking this red on. Get a bit of screw on this. Not into the pocket, preferably. Good pot. Fabulous pot. Hit this red. Slow it down on the way through. Nice. Very well. 
Now, what's the slightest pot here? Brown. It's the safest pot. It makes sense. Get a lot of pace on this one to get it back down the table. And that's not half bad at all, is it? Eight. Once again, need some pace. Probably don't want it to uh, go into the middle pocket, so play a little bit of angle on it. In fact, we don't want so much screw back. And we need to sacrifice position just so it doesn't fly into the middle pocket. I think we're okay with that. And in fact, that's quite nicely on the bloom. Honestly, a nine break on this game feels like a bet. It feels like a good century, really does. Playing this with a lot of power. Good pot. He'll be disappointed with that. No, no position this time round. Fourteen. Don't think there's any position at all, is there? No. Safety shot required then here. It's a tough one at that. It's going to come off two cushions, so we need to hit this a little bit harder. That's not too bad, unless it keeps coming at a pace. But there's certainly nothing obvious on there. Well, that's not worked out. Well, that's not worked out how we wanted it to. Ooh, blimey. That was a strange one. Now, do we fancy this into the top pocket? I'm going to be silly and go for this. It's a tricky one. Maybe even softer than that. This comes off. It's rewarding, though. Yes, good pot. Not great position, but we might be okay on the blue. Tricky pot, this. We know what a prolific long potter he is, so I'd assume he'd take this on. No, it's not going to go, is it? Unless it changes. It's, I mean, it's too soft. First off, it might have gone. That might have. Neil Robertson, one. For once in my life, I've actually played something too soft. Oh, well, got away with that. We've got the upper hand here. At the end of the day. Oh, is there a pot on here? I'm going to try a bit of shot to nothing on this one, yeah. As thin as possible. No, it was going nowhere, but I don't think there's any danger of any of the balls going in. No, but they're pretty well positioned, really. Pretty uh, locked up behind that pocket where the blue is, providing a bit of safety here. And, uh, well, he's just whacked them all over the place. And unbelievably, he's safe again. Quite an incredible state we've got here. It's the only real option. Hopefully the cue ball ends up quite nice, but I think that was too quick. And it is. He's going to have a way in here. Disappointing. He's missed it. How's he missed that? I just don't believe how he's getting away with this. Honestly, every miss he's having, he's safe. So frustrating. But uh, if this goes into the middle pocket, we get rewarded. It's a tricky one. Well, it goes. Half a chance. Oh, goodness sake. Just off. It's really frustrating, those sort of shots are. It's narrow margins, and he seems to get in cracking position. And I genuinely think it's a little bit of a fluke sometimes. Seven. You know, we play with the best intentions, and he gets the pots. Eight. It's going to be sit down and wait and pray now. Fifteen. But this could be curtains for us here in the uh, World Open. Would be a real shame not to qualify for our first tournament. And it would be a big shock. But these two reds are going to be interesting how he plays this. But if he gets the blue, I mean, where he's done well there. Gets these two reds and it's pretty safe. But he's missed the red. Right, now we've got to take a chance here. 
But as usual, these pots aren't easy. Hmm. Well, I suppose if we use the cue ball line, if we work out that one goes... Obviously, they'll go the opposite way, won't they? So, if we've got the cue ball line there, and that's coming up to the yellow. If the cue ball line is up to the yellow, and push that further up. I think we've just got more chance of potting this in into the than uh, into the corner, to be quite honest. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Yes, that was fortunate. Goodness me. Blue's pretty straight. Get some good screw. Come on, Blue. Be nice. Good shot. This is a tricky pot we've got to play now. Into the bottom. Right, so that's it straight. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming at that angle. Just got to go with this. We can't really afford to play safety here. This doesn't look half bad. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Don't stop. Do not stop. Oh. Oh my god. That is heartbreaking. We'd got it right. It was bang on. Oh. Just 1% more power and that would have gone in. That is gutting. The one time we get it right, eh? We've got a bank on him and missing something here, and I think he might have missed the green. He has. Jamie Clark. Nine. Right, we're going to try this yellow. This is a half chance. I can't believe I still can't believe we missed that red. So agonising, that is. No, this is way off. Well, I don't mind missing shots like that when they're absolutely miles off, but I think we're safe. Oh, goodness me. I'm sweating like mad, and it's only a qualifier, for goodness sake. Oh, brilliant. He really doesn't want to overhit this. No, we don't want to overhit it, correct. He's got a look in now. That's not the best shot at all. This will go. Green will go, and he'll get the brown. Oh, so I'm really hoping that cue ball would have gone in there. But we now need all the balls to tie. He'll get the blue. Oh, will he? Well, bit of a chance here for us. As I've said, we need all the balls to tie. But this isn't going to be an easy pot. I can tell that one already. We might as well take a chance. Well, he's looking at potting this into the right corner pocket. <sighs> My God! Oh, we are. I think we've been really unlucky today. I really think we have. Just the pink. And Jamie Clark's going to pot the pink, and Neil Robertson is out of the World Open. Match. Yeah, Jamie frame Clark. and match goes to Jamie Clark, and we are out of the World Open. Well, I don't really think that was because we played too badly there. We were just unfortunate, I think, to be honest. I mean, if you look at that match points, um, we only got one point less than the winner. Yeah, that's right, uh, 198, yeah. So, we didn't do too badly there. But we have lost our first match, that's a little bit of a shame. But uh, at least it can't get any worse than that. But I don't think we played too badly there. You know, it's a lot better than I've played um, in other matches. Of course, it's going to be a learning curve. Jamie Clark will enjoy uh, getting through. And a little bit of a scalp against Robbo. But we haven't qualified for the Yushan World Open. But the good news is we qualify automatically for the Riga Masters. Not sure why. Whether it's because we're the champion or something, I'm not sure why. But let's have a look. Who we play in this first round. So we are playing Rory McLeod. Rank number 58 in this best of five frames. Ranking event round one in the um, Riga Masters. So that's the game we're going to be playing in the next episode at the Riga Masters. So unfortunately we haven't qualified um, for the scheduled event at the World Open. 
but we will play in the Rega Masters. Probably play a few of these events and then start to skip a few um, as we go through. But hopefully we can win round one against Rory McLeod. It'll be a challenge, but hopefully one we're up for. And uh, hopefully the crowd will spur us on. So apologies we didn't win our first game. But I don't think we played too badly. Very unlucky on some of those shots. And if that red would have gone and the pink would have gone, we would have won the frame. But we can't look back now. You know, we've got to look forward. And uh, a little bit of a scalp first off. And hopefully that relieves a bit of tension. You know, we've lost a match. So it's not like that... Uh, we're waiting to lose a match, but there's a lot of expectation with Robbo, and hopefully we can meet that with the first round of the Riga Masters. But tomorrow at 6pm, you will see the first round of the Riga Masters. So if you've enjoyed that match, leave a like down below. Comment as well if you enjoyed, and subscribe to the channel for daily Snoop 19 content. Apart from that though, folks, I've been TIJ Game, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye for now.